everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to our St. Lucia travel day. new here my name is Shannon and this is my boyfriend Ben Hello. and we like to travel a lot so this is actually a trip that Ben has booked entirely on his own it was meant to be a surprise for my birthday the place that we're going to obviously St Lucia is now not a surprise it's meant to be a surprise yep. but it's not a surprise anymore because he's not very good at subtle hints oh yeah no I'm shocking <laughs> but the rest of the holiday is a surprise I don't know anything that we're doing I don't know the hotel we're staying in etc etc so we have just pulled up at gatwick longstay car park it is six o'clock in the morning on tuesday the 14th of june and we're very nervous aren't we nah put it this way the last time we went on holiday together no, no, no. it didn't no, go no, no. very we're well not mentioning it. we're not mentioning it we're not <laughs> mentioning it if you want to know more about that then you can go and find my um Disney vlog, not the ones in March, but the one that I stuck together for December. Go and find that, it will tell you all you need to know. But yeah, we've just pulled up at the car park, we've just got to get all of our bags out, we're going to go through the airport. This is like an eight hour and something flight, this is probably the first long haul flight I have done since maybe being 12 years old. Wow. I don't know how well I'm going to cope, but I've got everything, literally everything. We've downloaded her films, yeah. we've got her uh, games, <laughs> got my laptop. we've got her colouring for her, she's good to go. I think I'll be able to keep myself occupied during this trip. So I'm nervous because I have not had any control over this and I like to be she's in control. control. No, I'm not a control freak. I just like to have all the documents myself, like at least know though. where they are. Do you know what I mean? I've got everything. Good um, well, yeah, Ben has done this solely on his own. But Ben is nervous because obviously a lot of things that have been happening um, at airports recently and we are flying with Tui. So obviously they've had their problems, but they have sent us a little email that says, don't worry, we're confident, you're all going to be good, so fingers crossed. But for that reason, Ben has booked anything and everything to make this process quicker. So what have you booked <laughs> whilst we're at the airport? Booked. You booked the lounge. Booked the lounge. I've never done a lounge experience before, so... Fast track through the airport. Fast track through the Fast airport. Fast track through the St. Lucian airport. Yeah. He's trying to make this, the like, as I think... Anxiety free as possible yeah, for us both. Stress free. Nice, quick and easy process through the airport because we know what we're like. But we are so excited. Um, St. Lucia has been one of those dream sort of holiday destinations for me. I have sort of mentioned that in other videos. Like, it's just somewhere I've always, always wanted to go. So, let's go get yeah, I'm really excited. But we are going to go through the airport and do all of that without filming because That's nobody it. needs to add extra stress to that. So when we get the other side, we get through security, we'll let you know how long it takes and if we come across any sort of nice. issues on the way. Um, but wow. hopefully we'll see you nice and quickly and easily in the lounge, in the lounge on the other side. Or fry up. Fingers crossed. Need it. Or fry up. So we've just got to the lounge. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So this is our view. This is what it looks like. There's a little lounge area over there. The bar's behind us. That's where you get all your food. And then there's more seating area down that way as well. I've got myself a little orange juice. So we got into the queue for um, the bag drop at 25 past six. And it is now... Oh my God. It is now 6.59 and we have sort of been here a little while. Not not very long, maybe about five minutes, yeah. I'm going to get myself some food in a minute, obviously Ben's got his, but I just wanted to like update you on what we were doing. Anyway, so it literally only took us 35 minutes um, less than, so smashed it. That um, premium security was a godsend. The queue was ridiculously massive, like so long. Um, it probably would have moved down really quick anyway, but it looked really long and there wasn't a queue for um, 
obviously premium security. I don't know how much Ben paid for it, so he'll be able to tell you. Ten pounds. Ten pounds per person? Five pounds per person. Five pounds per person for premium security. I didn't even know you could do premium security. But it was a godsend, wasn't it? It was nice. Really helpful, and the whole thing has taken us maybe half an hour. And we're in, we're now sat in the lounge. We got in the lounge early, we've got the lounge until nine. No, we're until the flight. We're up until the flight. Right, we're going to technically quarter past ten, which is when our flight takes off, so we won't be here at quarter past ten. Yeah, but we can have it at quarter past ten. Yeah, so we're gonna have some breakfast. Mm. What have you got? Do you want to show them? Can you even see that? Let me see. <laughs> got loads. I'm just so happy. You've yeah. got a little muffin, he's got some egg. Sausage, bacon. I'm gonna go get mine in a minute, so I'll show you mine. Neither of us got searched at no. security. That's the first time that's happened. Uh -huh. Nice and quick, nice and easy. Well, Everyone was really helpful. The lady at um, the bag drop that was like speaking to us, the Tui lady. She was really funny, weren't she? She gave me life. Yeah. Yeah. We went. She went. Where are you going? And I was like, Saint Lucia. She was like, Oh, really? <laughs> It was really funny. She made my day straight away. Right. The worst job. Everyone's just, I'm going here, I'm going here. And you're like, yeah, I'm stuck in London. Literally. But yeah, anyway, really simple, really easy. There's a little, um, like, proper loungy section over there with, like, some really nice sofas looking out onto, like, all the planes. I mean, we've got a view at the minute with the planes, um, but there's an even better bit, like, like it's viewed onto the runway. So we're definitely going to go and find a seat and there in a sec. And there's a full bar. Oh, it's a plane going. It's British Airways. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so yeah, in the lounges, if, you've, if you're not uh, familiar with a lounge like myself, this is the first time I've been in a lounge or had a lounge experience, you get unlimited amount of breakfast, um, you can just sit and chill, use the Wi-Fi in that, right? Mm -hmm. um, unlimited drinks at the bar. Would you say it's good value for money? I wouldn't, I wouldn't know, I've not looked at the pricing um, and stuff, so. I mean, it cost me, I think, like 70 quid for two of us. For the two of us. So when you think like the stuff that you would you would obviously get to the airport, we do every time and have something to eat, especially if it's a time like this. You're dying for some breakfast, so you're definitely going to eat somewhere, and then you're probably going to get little snacks and stuff, which you can just take from here and take with you. So and you've got a guaranteed seat to sit and chill. And because it's a long haul flight, you are three hours early. So yeah, yeah, you get you get three hours worth. Whether you use it up or not, it's up to you. We have absolutely rinsed it. But yeah, I'm hungry, so I'm going to go and get a time. nice little filling dish. Are you going to keep a red stone? What do they want to hear from me? I don't know. Is there anything you can tell them that you're not allowed to tell me right now? I just got a video when I booked it. Have you? Yeah. Oh, I'll let you watch it when you get there. And okay. see if it's worthy of going in the vlog. Well, if it's worthy of going in the vlog, it will go in the vlog now. <laughs> so, it's Shan's birthday on the 12th of June. And for about a year now, I've had ideas for Shan's birthday, which is really weird. Because no one normally thinks about it this early. And yesterday, I bit the bullet on booking her a week's all-inclusive trip to St Lucia which is somewhere she's always wanted to go at the Royalton and Smugglers Cove which looks incredible it's for her surprise birthday she knows we're going away I've always I've kind of blagged on about that um, but it's a birthday kind of surprise the actual place we're going is a surprise and I'll try and leave it a surprise as long as possible so we'll see how we get on with that but it is all ready to go uh, well, like 190 days to go which is super early and it's not even literally not even christmas but i am so excited to take her away the room we've booked is one of the swim up rooms so you have a whole your you've got your own like private bit of pool in your hotel room so that's one of the other bits we've got loads to do there's loads of stuff i'll plan for her and bits and bobs like that um i'm just really excited and I'm going to have to sit here now for 192 days. I can't believe it. I'm so excited. He's I've good, not, isn't he? He's good. I've not watched it in about six months, so I have oh. no idea if it's any good. But I did it at the time. He's, had, um, he's got some vlogging experience since then, so he might be a bit rookie. I'm going to eat my breakfast. When's he finished his first breakfast? Literally. First breakfast? Fair enough. Right. Cocktail round two. Food is calling. I've just got my food. I've got some sausages, some little mini hash browns, some bacon, some beans, and some bread and butter. You right there with your muffin? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's going well so far. Mmm. I haven't seen the No. <laughs> it is 8.06. She's now working. Oblivious to everything. I'm not. And we've moved over to 
to the other side that's the also bit. the loungy bit of the, the whole place. And um <laughs> cheers. <laughs> it's five o'clock somewhere, right? Hello friends. So it's now twenty to nine, so we've got about half an hour until we find out our gate number. I've just been doing a bit of editing. Ben has been drinking a a pint that he doesn't like. <laughs> You don't like it, do you? It's just like, it's just like fruit. Yeah. It's a fruity point. And now we're just sat here chilling, watching the planes go. Ben thinks he's found our plane. Let me show you. So this is the window we can see. And in between all of these EasyJet planes, a big plane. there's a big Tui plane over there. Um, and Ben thinks that might be ours. Ours is called the Dreamliner. Is that right? Tui Dreamliner. So he thinks that might be it. But in half an hour, we will find out. Okay, we've worked it out. That is our plane. It's on the move. We can see now that it says Dreamliner on the side of it. You can just about see it. And it's obviously on its way somewhere, which hopefully means we're gonna get our gate number soon. We've just got our gate number for St. Lucia 571, which is Where? that way. Let's go. There she is. Got much plane. Yeah. We're on the plane. And I have a dodgy window. Look. So this is my window. Fingerprints galore. This yellow thing is meant to be a dimming button, but that one, if you can see, in that gap over there, isn't yellow. So I think mine's covered like that because it's broken. Result. We've got our little TV screens. We'll see what films are on here in a second. The captain just said it's going to be an eight hours and five minute flight. <laughs> We've just been given little Tui headset to go with it. I know, they've got the little smiley face on the end. <laughs> about the vodka but decided against it. I love the vodka when I get but I like it. Okay, alright. I'm still watching In the Heights and Ben is watching The Dark Knight. I'm already hungry again so I hope they bring lunch soon. They just brought out the lunch so we've got a chicken pasta bake, tomato pasta bake. It's come with some crackers, a little block of cheese, uh, still water and then I think this is a little cheesecake but I'm going to try you and let you know. But this is what the pasta bake looks like. And it's just drying it now. Yeah? Yeah, I'll do. It's intriguing. Is it? Yeah. Is it good? Lemon. Oh. That's really good. Big thumbs up. <laughs> We're halfway. Are we? Mm. Only halfway. Well, halfway time-wise. I don't know actually how we're getting on. We've not been spoken to, have we? 20 past 3 UK time. We left 11. at 11. Just before 11. It's meant to be an 8 and a half hour flight. It's only 8 hours, he said. So we're it's over halfway. Go, it's going to go super speedy. I've just done some editing. Ben's just had a kip. And now we're hoping they come round with more goodies because I'm hungry and thirsty again. Delirium is setting in. But look. Happy They're free as well. It's been a long one, isn't it? We're halfway! Yay! <laughs> so we have one hour left of the flight, roundabout, and they've just come out with the last little bit of food. This is a cream cheese and cucumber sub roll, and then it also comes with a little cookie dough. What did they say? It was cookie dough brownie. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Cookie. Ben's trying the brownie. Look at that! <laughs> He's very excited. That's so good. 
However, look at Ben's tiny little cup of tea. <laughs> Where's the rest of it? <laughs> you didn't you didn't want to fork up anyway, did you? <laughs> it was right. Good. Good. Shattered. It's midnight at home. Like actually shattered. So we're in the room now. The room is insane, by the way. So I will do a room tour, but we've just got to explain to you everything that's, that's happened. It, we've not even spoken to him since we got landed. No, we've not had a chance, guys. So what happened first? Fine. We landed, and then from the get go, we didn't stop, did we? No. So we got off the plane, and there was a guy waiting for us. With a little board that said our names on it, Literally and that is, you got through. Yeah, we hadn't even got into the airport, had we? We were still outside. So we were like, ah, oh, we're obviously you're looking for us, we're looking for you. And he was like, right, I'm guiding you around. We were like, okay. So apparently, it takes a very long time once you get to the St Lucia Airport to get through the airport to the other end. And we witnessed that firsthand, did we not? Yeah, we busy. So Ben had booked, like, it's called Fast Track. Literally, if you think of a fast pass at a theme park, it gets you through quickly. You have one person, like a, a staff member, that literally comes and grabs you and takes you through all of, like, immigration, baggage claim, all of that really quick. And you basically bypass all the queues like you would on a fast pass at Disney or something. Really worth doing. And... The queues, I mean, two massive flights, like our one and another one from America, America. somewhere, yeah. came in at the same time, and it was just horrific. Um, and we bypassed all of that, bypassed all the queues. The guy told us exactly what, what we needed to get out. He took them off us, gave them to the person, they checked them, gave them back to us. We then moved on to the next bit. It was that simple. They didn't ask any questions. It was other than that, it was just basically given to us on a plate. It was so easy to do the only thing that make, made us wait a little bit longer was baggage claim and obviously you can't speed the process of that up it's it, your bag comes out when your bag comes out but we managed to get literally from the plane to the other end of the airport at St Lucia and getting in a taxi in 25 minutes then our taxi driver which is all booked through the same thing so it came as like a a pair didn't it so yeah, so you added you got the taxi and then you added the fast track on at the same time yeah because we booked he's booked a package with tui we did get a normal tui transfer but it looked horrendous um but you'd heard some things didn't you that said it take because it's a bus and the roads the roads round here what on earth i mean the weather didn't help the corners are like hairpin corners aren't they it's like monaco all over <laughs> it was the roads but honestly crazy but our taxi driver was brilliant wasn't he, was he? Right, I and i actually for some reason felt really safe in his car I didn't even get travel sick and there was some, some roads that you'd think you would get travel That's sick why on i said yeah it's travel sickness that place but we were fine weren't we no, I was, I mean, I was good. and you got like drinks with that so i had a nice bottle of water ben was drinking the the beer that they're very famous for here how do you say it Pitons. pitons or pythons it's obviously uh branded after the the pitons or the the Pythons, no. I don't know how you pronounce it, um, in St. Lucia, which is what they're famous for. So you had two bottles of that. He also gave him like a bottle of JD, but it had JD mixed with Spice. spiced rum. But it was like, he said it wasn't just mixed, it was like uh, seasoned. I don't even know, but Ben said it was lovely. It smelled awful. 
in my opinion. But he necked that as well, so I think by the time he'd got it, he was a little bit drunk. But I think he, you just needed to calm down a little bit, didn't you? Because you were a bit stressed, weren't you, darling? <laughs> Bless him, he's worked so hard. So then what happened after that? We drive the winding country roads. <sighs> grab a scoop at Alamo. We drive around all the windy roads. It is stormy over here. We have arrived on the correct day. Um, it does say it's gonna be rainy tomorrow as well, but fingers crossed, it's not. So yeah, then we got here and we were like, Buzzing, we're here. They took your bags off you straight away, just, which just, was amazing. Just to kind of give it some kind of like context. It's currently quarter past six here. Yeah. So at home, it'd be quarter past 11. We were up at 4 a.m., guys. So we've been up for like <sighs> quick maths. Hours, 19 Honestly, hours. we are shattered. So we got here about half past four. The bell guys took our bags off us, didn't they? And they knew exactly where we were going Yeah, from. They, they knew exactly whose bags they were, and I don't, I don't know how they did that, but they impressive. did. There's tags on them now that say our names, which is pretty cool. We left that with them. We went to the check-in desk, which was a very long process to then find out that our room wasn't ready, and it was half past four. If I haven't already mentioned, which I definitely haven't, we're staying at the Royalton, the Royalton Hotel. Obviously, I didn't know that up until when we got here because it's all a surprise. So yeah, we got here about half past four and then check-in didn't work and he went, oh, your room's not ready. They've only got to put towels in and something pillow else cases. and pillowcases. Um, why don't you go and have some food while you wait? And we were like, actually, that sounds like a really good idea. So he walked us over to the sports bar um, and was like, get some food and come back up to the front and hopefully we'll be able to tell you then that your room is ready. So we went and got some food, didn't we? Yeah. I took a little video of it, so I'll show you. But we got mac and cheese fries, and it had like a gravy on them. And then Ben also got the steak sandwich of some sort. I don't know if you can tell from the video, but it, it wasn't great. We didn't really eat much of it, did we? And then we went back to the check-in desk, and then they said, yeah, your room's ready. She told us exactly where to go. We went to go and retrieve our bags, because we thought our bags were still outside. And they were like, no, they would have taken them to your room. We were like, how? Because we didn't even know what our room was at this point. And he, literally, we just turned up, and he was walking them straight in. Yeah, and then we literally went in the direction that the lady told us to go in and met the 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 bellboy, the bell, bellman, bell, bell, bell. with our four bags. And then he was wheeling in the suitcases towards the door. And we were like, oh, I'll follow you. Perfect. And um, yeah, then we got into our room and this is it. You're all caught up now. The hotel itself is beautiful. So I will show you that on another day, hopefully when it's really sunny. But I am going to show you the room because the room is insane. So let's do a quick room tour. So we use this little wristband to get us into the room. And the front door is just here. So as you come in, ignore all the suitcases, you have a little desk to the side with some storage drawers in and a, a fancy little ornament of some sort and a mirror. Lovely. To the left, you just have like a really typical, just normal toilet. And that is literally it. Why is there a phone in here? No, there's a phone on the wall in the toilet. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Why? Because I'm a bit lonely. Anyway, so that's the toilet. As you come in a little bit further, you obviously have this, which is one of the main events, in my opinion. Oh, right. This, what looks like a jacuzzi bath, is insane. It is huge, and it's got little jets down the side. You've got your towels there, and then this little corner, um like tabletop bit where you can put some little bits under here and then some bits on top which is fabulous really looking forward to getting in that i'm not gonna lie so the right of that is um a wardrobe that actually comes with two little robes that ben found earlier so definitely make the most out of that i think i can see slippers of some kind in there as well so iron board an actual iron i think there's an extra blanket up there i don't know why we would need a blanket probably not enough hangers but we'll make do a safe these are yeah slippers what on earth is that i think that might be like a maybe a steamer or something that's quite cool um but yeah loads of space in there and then the other side of the bath you have double sinks which is insane I don't, i'm getting so excited this is the mirror hello i look like crap a cool little magnifying mirror which i'll definitely use for some makeup in the evenings and then a whole shelf underneath that for god knows what but i don't know make use out of it and to the left of that you have the shower and it's literally like a walk-in wet room so you have 
a shower there, a shower there, and a shower there. And for some reason, a little seat if you get bored during your shower. So yeah, this is the whole, the whole shabam, the whole shower. It's come with some little toiletries as well. I don't really want to step in here with my shoes on, but I've done it now. So you've got body wash, conditioner, and shampoo that they give you, which is nice. And your taps are on the opposite wall to them. And then you have the rest of the room. So we have two massive beds for some reason. Ben's on that one, I'm on this one. <laughs> yeah, <we're on. laughs> and they've got little seats on the end. Maybe for putting your shoes on, I don't know. A really big mirror. It is a door. But the door doesn't lead to anywhere. It's a, could be for a connecting room. Yeah, so it's like there's just another door behind it. So nothing exciting going on there. We'll lock that. Huge mirror. Really good for o OTDs. Oh, yeah. Oots. Oots. Oots, oots. Um, so we've got a little mini desk in the middle here with a phone on it where we can here? order room service. Oi, oi. Mate, we can order room service on here. Can you? Really? Oh, this is our huge TV, which was playing some real party bangers when we came in as well see right i'm in full holiday mode now oh is that a cheesecake maybe we'll order some room service to make up for what we had in the sports bar right anyway continuing on with the room tour we've got a whole storage cabinet here with some little drawers ignore the stuff we've just thrown and um, so it's like got four of these little drawers in here and then to the right of that Oh, to the left of that. Oh my god. Get your left and right, right? All right. You got a little coffee machine, um, some mugs, and then I think there's tea in there and all sorts of things. And then to the left of that, you have the fridge, and it's got some bits in here too. Hold on. So you've got some Sprite, some normal Coke, Coke Zero, bottles of water, some milk for the coffees, and then also this is the famous um, beer from here. There's two of them, which Ben will be happy about. And to the left of that, there's like a tiny little ledge. I don't know what that's for, but still looks cute. And then there's a whole desk where I could do all of my editing, which I'm not going to do because I'm on holiday. That stopped on the plane. Another huge mirror, a little coffee table, a Ben, <laughs> and a little sofa behind that with a really cute cushion. And then for the main event, are you going to show them? Guys. We have our own pool. What the hell? So we've got two little chairs and a table there. These sunbeds were actually in like this top ledge of the pool, but I moved them out because as you can probably see, it's it's raining. But look at this. This is the view from the back of our hotel room. There's the beach, there's the beach. And then obviously there'll be rooms next door to us like here that will be able to use this as well. But obviously this bit, you can put the sunbeds in here and sunbathe like in the water. I'm so excited for it to stop raining so we can get in here. Have you stayed in a hotel room better than this? No, this is, this is nuts. This is amazing. It is huge. Like, let me turn around so you can see it from this side. Look at the size of it. That's the door where you come in from, right where Ben is. Look at the size of this room, please. You have an itinerary to open. Oh, yeah. Next step is to find out all the things that we're doing. So Ben's actually made me a little itinerary because he's adorable. But there's a few things that he's got planned. So he's printed out his own little itinerary for me to read. So we're going to find out what we're doing on this holiday. Okay, so this is the full itinerary. This is what it looks like. So he's done Tuesday all the way through to Monday. Look how cute he is. Okay, so Tuesday, travel day. 10.15 from Gatwick, 2 p.m. arrive in St. Lucia. Fast track through airport and taxi. Welcome to the Royalton St. Lucia. Shan will want to make use of her own pool and get some food. Yes, she will. That's Tuesday. That's today. We can definitely order room service, though. Please. Yeah, and we can have a nap. Yeah. Shower or a bath. I'm going to have a bath. Sounds good. Wednesday. Now things start getting real because I have no idea. Nothing planned for today. Definitely a pool day and explore the hotel. Shan gets to pick which restaurant we try for dinner. Oh, I like that. So that's exciting. You're yeah. going to have to show me around all of them so I can have a look yeah. and choose one. Thursday, tour day, boat, mud bath, waterfalls, snorkeling and more. We must be at the front of the hotel for 8am. 8am? 8 yeah. What are you doing to me? Sorry. Pick up before 8.30, clothing suggestions. Oh, you're smart. I like this. Clothing suggestions. Black swimming costume, 
cover up and maybe some spare clothes once we're done swimming, etc. Extras, sunglasses, towels, sun cream, cash, then has sorted. <laughs> I like that. Friday, chill out day, no plans. Suggestion, ask Ben for directions to Pigeon Island, if you trust them. Full chill day to do whatever you wish. Saturday, private cabana from 10 a.m. till 5 p.m. You've probably seen these already and now you have one. A full day of chilling in our own private place and pool with all food and drinks you need. I've not seen a private cabana before. No, stop it. It's one walk over the beach and you've got like a bar service and they bring you drinks and you have your, like, your lunch in there and you've got it all day. Oh my gosh. That is an exciting day. Sunday. <gasps> helicopter tour of the whole island at 9.30am. A helicopter? Yes. 6.30 p.m. dinner on the beach. Oh, cute! Is that, so, that's when the sun sets as well, half six. Oh, that's so cute. Last day, Monday. Final day. Oh, you put a little sad face. Pool day and doing the last things that you fancy. Oh, that's so much fun. That's very balanced. You smashed it. Well done. Thank you very much. I'm buzzing. <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't even tell you. So that is... The full itinerary for the week. We're going to unpack, have a relax, maybe order some food and get some sleep. It's so worth doing the travel, but my God, does it take it out of you. Yeah. But like, imagine we're so out of practice. We want to go to Florida next year. We would have to do all of that for Florida. Then probably go and have to do like a massive Target shop. No. Then come home and no, go to the, Magic Kingdom the next no, day. The, 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 the. How do people do that? But anyway... We are gonna go and pack and get some sleep and have some relaxing and all of that jazz. Um, but if you are interested in watching any of the stuff we just talked about in the itinerary, then make sure to like this video, hit the subscribe button and get ready for some St. Lucia vlogs because it's, it's gonna be very exciting. I can't wait to do all of this stuff. And thank you so much for taking me on this holiday for my birthday. I feel well and truly blessed. Anyway, we are going to love you and leave you because we are shattered. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. And we will see you in the very first St. Lucia vlog on this channel. So you will say in the morning, see you at like midday. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.